1872, the first Portland cement factory was established in Michigan in the Kalamazoo region of the state. However, the production of the cement was too costly and was abandoned in 1882. Fourteen years later, the Peerless Portland Cement Company was the first successful cement company in the area, and soon more began to open. In 1903, this land was purchased by Wellington R. Burt, and by 1906, the Burt Portland Cement Company was in operation, managed by his son, George R. Burt, who would go on to own the plant just a few years later. It became one of the largest cement manufacturers in Michigan, shipping its product across Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, and Wisconsin. However, due to a legality issue, when Wellington passed away, the plant was purchased by the Alpha Portland Cement Company in 1920. So this used to be all ceiling. Oh yeah, dude, you ain't going nowhere in here. Finally, in 1927, George Burt's equity suitcase was held, wherein he held the Bank of Saginaw responsible for losing the company. It seems that though his father had deeded the property to him in 1911, George was not to take ownership until his father's investment had returned a million dollars to him, which took place in 1914. Where the issue arose is that being in such a small community, the banking services were inadequate for such a large operation, and the birds acted as their own bankers until Wellington's death just before 1920. Feel the temperature difference. Oh wow, it's like you're in a cave. Check out right here how it's just bowed, and it's like come all the way. Now, the rest of the case is full of legal jargon, some of which was hard to figure out, but it seems that there was dispute that the land was legally to be given to over to George, despite there being verbal agreement to this plan. In the end, the case was ruled against George Burt when it was determined he had made fraudulent claims to the factory's secretary, William Otis, and had no other ways to back up his claim in court. The factory went bankrupt the same year that the case was settled. It has remained abandoned ever since. Look at the amount of tracks that people have been back here, like just today. This place is probably really busy when it gets warmer out too. Oh yeah. Sad, they probably just hang out here all day. There's some real weird people out here. They seem like weird. They're just like doing cartwheels and stuff. Check out like. That's a drop. Oh, there's a hole that leads into it. Right here, it looks like it's a butt's hole. You can see where people have had fires here and just partied it up. Yeah, I bet you can really do whatever you want out here. Right. a pretty cool Courage the Cowardly Dog one actually. That's actually pretty good. One of the few graffitis I like. That one actually turned out.